belongs to me, not yours, but mine, not yours. Oh, no. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, y'all, it's only a few things that really, really make me angry, 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 is when you mistreat children, when you mistreat older people, you know, and because they can be just as challenging, <laughs> and when you treat mistreat animals, okay? Now, before I knew what abuse was, I think I did all of that except the elderly, all right? Because, you know, usually in the hood, you grow up with a certain amount of violence. Now, I must admit, it was not the way I was trained. It was not the way I was indoctrinated. So it never really felt comfortable. So, but I knew that as I got older and the neighborhood began, um, uh, you know, neighborhood were changing from predominantly a white neighborhood to um, predominantly black. A lot of single family homes. Uh, and I noticed that the neighborhood changed. I noticed that the um, violence changed that we did amongst, amongst ourselves. But I noticed that we didn't have a lot of fights like that in the neighborhood um, back before. I could see a shift. Actually, I'm old enough to, to see have seen a shift because when I grew up, there was just mostly a mother and a father in the house. And I'm not talking about any old kind of mother and a father. I'm talking about mothers and fathers that really, really had a vested um, stake in what their children were doing. At least the ones I ran into. There's, I'm not saying that they all there was no single parents. Of course they were. But everybody knows if you're a single parent, then your road is challenging. And it's a lot more challenging than it is when you grow up in a two-parent household. So now this has nothing to do with the story that I'm trying to, um, that I'm going to talk about. But what I am trying to say is that I can see the, the um, deterioration of the family. I can also see the deterioration of the respect. Um, I remember when criminals used to run into the church and the officers would not run into the church behind them, but maybe send an officer in there and talk to one of the deacons. I've seen this growing up. Now, I don't know if my church was that special, uh, but I also know that um, I'm trying to think of the brother's name that got shot um, in Los Angeles. Uh, God, in the early um, 70s, I think, in the Nation of Islam. I think there was a shootout in the 60s, I believe. Yeah, it was the 60s or late 50s or something, early 60s. However, I can't think of a time where police officers just went into the church and shot people or you know, started fights. So what I'm trying to say, y'all, is that there has been a deterioration of how people see us. There has been a straight, they already didn't see us in no good light at all. But when we were unified, we had a little bit more respect. When we had a little bit more direction and foundation to our offspring and the direction we were going in as a unit, as a group, um, especially going into coming out to civil rights, you know, these were families. Uh, of course, we all we can we can go back to when it, it ventured off, but let's talk about the respect aspect. Now we're at a point in time where something as unacceptable as what I just saw and read, I want to share with y'all. And please tell me how you feel about this, because this is is really pissing me the hell off. That it's so much that I had to go and. Pour me up my tea and say, okay, sit down and relax. Okay. Police, Ohio police show up to a black man's funeral gathering with guns drawn and declare it a riot. 
Now, wasn't nothing happening before they came. Nothing but people having a funeral service. But when they came, it became a riot. Bear with me, y'all. A grieving family in Ohio held a gathering to celebrate the life of 23-year-old Charles Pierre Lewis, who died in a car crash, not a gang fight, after allegedly leading state troopers on a high-speed chase. Okay, so they're probably still mad. Tamika cheers the victim's mother told reporters, my baby's gone and he's never coming back. Over 100 family members and friends gathered at a home near West 11th Street and Brown Brownwell Avenue after Tuesday's funeral service. Everything was fine until the rain police responded to noise complaints, showed up with tasers, gun drones, and even police dogs. Now, this is just a total act of disrespect. Total, total disrespect. Now, uh, uh, Cheers was furious and disheartened by the way the police handled the situation. It just hurts me that they had to come and react the way that they reacted when all we were doing was celebrating his life. Just because you see a bunch of black folks and families and children members doesn't and elders don't mean it's a problem. We were celebrating my son's journey through his life. You can watch the new five Cleaver report in the video below. According to the police, the mourners out on the front lawn and in the streets were mostly cooperative when asked to leave the area or go back inside the home. But after a small number of attendees failed to comply with the orders, police responded with a situation they are now calling a riot. Carlos is said he has no more avatar to watch. Well, Lord, I'm sorry. It's crazy. Um, so now, I can't figure out. It says, according to the... Because that's one thing about the media. They, all, they, they, they are confused of writing so much that you have to figure out what the hell is going on. Because this sounds sick. Were they at home or were they at the funeral home? What? Where the hell did this come from? The mourners out on the front lawn and in the streets were mostly cooperative when asked to leave the area or go back inside the home. It hurts. I grew up with Fugu and to see this happen to his family, your life will be properly celebrated though, bro. It will. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I had to take my dogs outside. Um. Anyway. This is so sick to me. Um, this there's a person that said I grew up. This hurts. I grew up with Fubu, and see this happen to his family really crushes me. Your life will be properly celebrated, bro. And that's from Reed Burke. News Five, uh, Cleveland said that according to the Lorraine Police report, family and friends of Pierre Lewis had been gathering every night since his death. They added that on several occasions, the crowd exceeded 100 people in the streets until the early mornings. Police also added that there had been previous calls and arrests, all associated with the deceased family members, all due to physical disturbances and shots fired. One report said that Officers responding to the noise complaints arrived at the scene and described it as immediately as chaotic. Five people were arrested, which prompted several officers to use force. You know, I'm just saying this could have been handled so much differently. Not only do black people mourn different than white people, we're much more emotional in, um, than white people. And that's in anywhere you see us, whether you see us Whatever, and that's just indigenous people as a whole. We have ceremonious types of things um, and rituals going dating back to Africa. However, my people do not have the right to go out there in the neighborhood and start shooting up and having, because y'all getting party to my, <coughs> here's one for the dead. 
They pour you up some for the dead. We don't have the right to do that and disturb the whole neighborhood with that bullshit either. I don't know which way it went. I know this is totally insane. I mean, I can't see them, you know, well, I can't say because I've had family members fight at funerals, so I've had personally. I did see family members and police of my neighborhood that were trying to have peace, but other people were starting to feud. There were fights in the streets. There were people arguing. The grieving mother expressed her disappointment towards the officers. I don't hate police. I don't care for them because they're supposed to protect and serve. Y'all didn't do that last night. News 5 did not hear back from the Lorraine police after asking for an interview. They also added that the department does not wear body cameras. Um, I want y'all to give me your honest opinion. What do y'all think happened at this funeral? Do y'all think that the brothers and sisters got a little bit too overzealous in their mourning? Or do you think that the police officer already came in cracking down, ready to do some business, um, gathering with guns drawn? Now, one thing I would like to correct because uh, the white media, I mean, always try to get us fired up when it's a black and white story. And that's why I want to bring you a few white on white uh, crime stories so y'all can balance this shit and won't have the negative connotation that they want you to have. I told you it's a battle for your mind. So they didn't even have to say that the police showed up. I mean, in all fairness to the police officers, they didn't have to say the police showed up at a man's funeral gathering because it wasn't even no funeral. They could have just said, um, because that one word will take you off someplace like they came into a church or something, right? At least it did in mine. Maybe it's my warped mind. So I could, I think they could have just said, um, Ohio police show up to black man's gathering with guns drawn. Okay. So that's just my opinion because, you know, you can take one word in the English language and change the whole dynamic or the whole conversation. That's how crazy our language is to me. This language is hell. It ain't mine. It's King's English. I just had to learn it. Anyway, with that being said, y'all, please tell me what you think about this because it's really such a sad, stupid story to me. And it pisses me off to even hear a blatant disrespect like this, not only for us, for ourselves, and the police, for us not even being able to mourn like normal people because they don't like the way we do it or we get too carried away, which we do sometimes, and uh, they perform like this. They draw guns and all this kind of stuff. Tell me what y'all think because I'm done with it. I'll see you in